Hello and welcome. This is my Saturday video where I'm going to be fixing up random stuff. Today I have an Xbox One S. It was a hard drive error. And uh, every Tuesday I'll do an update about what's sold. If this console sells, that'll be in there. And I'll update a spreadsheet with everything that I've done. The whole goal of this channel is to kind of motivate myself and also see if repairing consoles and controllers or whatever other electronics come up and uh, see if it's profitable. So let's get cracking. I'll have the timer or time that it took me to do this and yeah that's the time that it took so let's crack it all right so when i bought this console from google finds a while back they said it was for parts not working i forgot how much i spent it was like 60 dollars it is a really dirty one it has doa and mb which i assume is dead on arrival motherboard it looks pretty sweet not too bad in decent enough physical condition cosmetically it's another story so let's see what the error is i have a feeling that it just might need a replacement hard drive and so those are really easy let's put power to it and let's turn it on turns on makes good sound I don't think this is a dead on arrival motherboard, do you? Let's find out. Oh no, it pops up with system error E102 00000C01800703ED. Huh, all right, well, let's see here. So I have system restore files on here. Maybe it's just uh, needing a reformat, right? Maybe. Let's see here. If only I can get this USB stick in. First things first is you'll need to reformat and partition a new hard drive. So I bought these off AliExpress for like, I don't know, what, $14? I don't forget. I forget. We'll look it up later. But yeah, you repartition it. Uh, there's another guy, and I'll link it in the bio. Keep saying bio, description. It's gonna be down in the description. How to go through the 11 is you go down to your Windows icon, right click, and you'll see disk management. And so I have disk management up in the window on the top left. Uh, he says to open a, a shell terminal as an admin. You again, right click the Windows icon, click terminal admin. It'll prompt you if your user admin, just click yes, and you'll have the shell window open. You go navigate into your directory, which is my user desktop, blah, 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 blah. All right, so I have this script running or selected around. You just hit enter. It goes through all the options, are all the letters. He has them go check, make sure all these are enabled. As long as U through Y is available, press any key. Uh, he says push A for replace without an original optic or without an original drive right yep press a okay so we see that my main drive is disk zero which is drive c so we go in select to target one drive and it's disk one right boom selected warning this is all going to be erased yeah sure i don't care it's all just a blank drive right uh, what size is it? It is a 500 gigabyte. Super cheap. Removing ex existing partitions. Oh no. And it goes into unparticip uh, unallocated. Boom, boom, boom. Creates all the drives. Super quick, super easy. Wham, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And as it goes through updates, and this should fix the Xbox One S. And then the computer's throwing out all these fun little windows saying, all these new drives are being created, allocated, blam, damn, and we're already done. Only 76 seconds, cool. And uh, right, yeah, so this is Windows 11 Pro, and it still works, right? And we're done. So let's move on into integrating back into the Xbox. And it's a SATA. SATA 3, SATA 6, whatever kind of SATA. All right, well. Cool, well now that you have that partitioned, you don't have a process here. I'm pretty sure the hard drive works, the disk drive, but you want to make sure it works as well 
before actually going through this process. So we flip it up. We have the warranty seal here. We'll take that off. We'll get that right up. Ooh, yeah, that's never been taken off. That's a real stubborn sticker here. Ooh, that did not fully come off. You want to get it all off because there's this tab, that locking tab. You got to get that released. Hooray! It's open. Nice. That is a hot filthy mess doesn't look like any of the tabs broke so sweet off the side ow ouch all right now it's all these green screws here pushing that down torx 10 let's see here And all the F's and unmarks are the color green. Okay, that's gonna be pretty easy to remember. So everything but F's and unmarks, oh, are uh, the big long green. That's pretty easy to remember when you think about it that way. Unless each console is different, then all the long screws are the F. F is long. Get F by a long green handle or screw in this case. Uh, that's silly. I am silly. Woo, look at that. That is disgusting. Ugh. Ugh. Uh, all right, I'm gonna go dust out this a little bit. Clear off your workspace. Now, get into the nitty gritty. Eh, disgusting. There's the hard drive that you want to take out. <laughs> Try the new flash drive or hard drive here. So maybe it's still the hard drive and some of the discs kind of get wrecked, rizzity wrecked.
All right, this is more of a rant. And if you made it this far, I appreciate it. But you go and buy a console and then you have to install games. Sure, I have a hard disk in this system, but you can get an SSD. But still, mind blowing that it takes so long to install a game, even on an SSD. You go buy the console and then you have to sign in. You can't play it offline. And then you still have to download the game, even though you bought it in a store. Sure, the limitation is because it's a Blu-ray or whatever uh, Microsoft uses for their media formats. But then you still have to have an account to even play a game that you physically have. I don't know. I, I just feel like a boomer in that regard. Because I grew up in the days where you buy the disc, you just insert it, and you can play instantly, almost instantly anyway, however long it takes to do do a cd reading and all that so but yeah you can see me log in and all that stuff anyway thank you and uh yeah let's see you next week bye